Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn about chemical reactions. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to GPSTR exam, CET and Central TET, mainly of maths and science concepts. Let's move into the video now chemical reactions. Chemical reaction is the process which transforms one or more substances into new substance with new property. Okay. So here we can observe a chemical reaction if A plus B are the reactants and they react and form a chemical equation they form products C plus D are the products obtained. Now let's have a glance of the necessary conditions for chemical reactions to take place. First one close physical contact. Chemical reaction takes place only when the reactants are in close contact with each other. Next solution form. Some substances react with each other only when they are mixed in the solution form okay heat most of the chemical reactions takes place by heating the reactants together then light even some chemical reactions takes place in the presence of sunlight catalyst the speed of the chemical reactions either can be increased or decreased by using a catalyst electricity some chemical reactions takes place during the passage of electric current in the reactants. Next pressure. Some chemical reactions takes place under high pressure. So actually these all may not be asked in the exam just to know the basic concepts. Next we shall move to the types of chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are broadly classified into the following types. Combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction, oxidation and reduction reaction. These are the main methods, main types of chemical reactions. Now we shall learn about one by one of these chemical reactions. Now, we shall move to the types of reactions. First one combination reaction. The reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a single substance under suitable condition is called as combination reaction. So here there is an example two substances substance A and B combines to form a single substance. Okay. Let us move into the few examples of this N2 plus 3 H2 nitrogen combines with hydrogen to form ammonia and heat is also liberated. Okay, Here you can observe two actually two substances nitrogen and hydrogen elements they combine to form two comp uh, new compound. Next hydrogen combines with chlorine Cl2 to form HCl hydrochloric acid and heat is also liberated. Okay, Hydrogen combines with chlorine gives hydrochloric acid plus heat is liberated. Next carbon dioxide combines with water CO2 plus H2O combines with water gives H2CO3 carbonic acid. Actually you can see here these two are carbon dioxide and uh, water are separate compounds. They combine to give a new compound carbonic acid. Next NH3 that is ammonia you know plus hydrochloric acid combine to form ammonium chloride NH4Cl next 
two CO combines that is carbon monoxide CO combines with oxygen forms carbon dioxide two CO two. So here you can see uh, carbon monoxide is a compound and oxygen is an element. Either it could be of two elements or two compounds or one element and one compound combination also. The resultant will be the product carbon dioxide here. Next one, 2 SO2. So, this is sulfur dioxide combines with oxygen gives sulfur trioxide. This one, okay, sulfur trioxide. So, these are the examples for combination reaction. Next, we shall move to the next type of reaction decomposition reaction. The reaction in which a single substance decompose, decomposes to give two or more substances are known as decomposition reaction. So, here you can observe a single substance AB is decomposed as A plus B. Now let us see few examples for decomposition reaction. First one 2 KClO3 that is potassium chlorate potassium chlorate on passing heat or on heating gives potassium chloride and oxygen ok. A single substance is decomposed to two or more substances. So, here two substances are formed potassium chloride and oxygen. Next 2 H2O that is water. On passing electric current when electric current is passed through water it decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen gas. This process is called as electrolysis of water. Okay, You would have already learnt. Next CaCO3 calcium carbonate on heating calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is nothing but limestone ok limestone CaCO3 limestone on heating gives calcium oxide that is quick lime we call it is calcium oxide plus CO2 carbon dioxide. Actually I think this question is in the uh, model question paper for biological science model question paper of GPSTR exam 2022. They have asked to they have stated this statement and asked to find out identify which type of chemical reaction is this. That means uh, uh, a limestone decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide identify the decom uh, types of reaction. So, answer is decomposition reaction ok. These are simple only. This might be asked for one or two marks questions only, but very easy. Next, we shall move to the displacement type of reaction a chemical reaction in which one element of a reactant takes the place of another element present in another reactant. Here, you can observe Al is an element given here and plus combines with M. But A and M combines AM and L is left that side. So, you can observe, we will see few examples for this to understand this in a better way. First one, zinc. Zinc combines with copper sulphate forms zinc sulphate and copper separated zinc sulphate and copper. You can observe here zinc combines with this sulphur. So, zinc sulphate and copper is left aside. Next second example PB. PB is lead combines with cupric chloride CuCl2 cupric chloride and forms guess PB plus Cl2 the other side lead chloride it forms and copper is left this side ok. These are easy reactions only might be asked for one or two marks multiple choice questions or sometime might be asked for two marks questions also. 
next zinc combines with h2so4 what is that h2so4 sulfuric acid and forms zinc sulfate and hydrogen okay so i think these are very easy reactions next we shall move to the other type of chemical reaction that is double displacement reaction in this type of chemical reaction one component each of both the reacting molecule so here there is a reacting molecule here there is a reacting molecule for among this two one component each get exchanged to form new products so you can observe here in this example a into b plus c into d a combines with d b combines with c to form new product as ad plus cb let's have uh, have a look into the examples now agno3 that is silver nitrate combines with sodium chloride nacl forms silver chloride ag combines with chloride silver chloride plus sodium combines with nitrate so sodium nitrate it forms okay so now we shall move to the second example calcium chloride cacl2 combines with naoh sodium hydroxide to form is you can guess calcium combines with oh that is calcium hydroxide plus this na combines with cl2 sodium chloride okay next let's learn about oxidation and reduction reactions very simple and easy addition of oxygen to a substance is known as oxidation whereas removal of oxygen from a substance is known as reduction okay let's have a look into the example to understand this oxidation and reduction reaction in a better way cuo cupric oxide combines with h2 hydrogen to form copper and water in this single reaction you can understand both oxidation and reduction here you see copper is having oxygen here and hence it is giving the oxygen to hydrogen so hydrogen gains the oxygen hence this is called as oxidation here oxidation takes place who receives the oxygen hydrogen adding oxygen to the substance here co from copper oxygen is removed cupric oxide from cu cupric oxide oxygen is removed so it becomes copper hence this is removal of oxygen from a substance reduction example of reduction reaction okay so um, here we can write like this cuo gives oxygen hence the cuo is an oxidizing agent and h2 takes oxygen hence it is a reducing agent okay next let's see about catalyst what are catalyst substance that increases the rate of chemical reaction without itself undergoing permanent chemical change is known as catalyst okay for example iron is used in haber process that is in manufacturing of ammonia it's a common observation that whenever a chemical reaction takes place heat is either evolved or given out or absorbed so accordingly the reactions are termed as exothermic and endothermic process let's see about these reactions exothermic reactions a reaction is called exothermic when heat is given out during a chemical reaction is called as exothermic exo means out exothermic so in that case the temperature of the surrounding increases because e heat is given out hence the temperature of the surrounding increases let's see few examples of chemical equations h2 combines with oxygen 
that means hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water in this case heat is given out okay this is an example of exothermic reaction then c coke combines with oxygen and means and burning of coke in air to form carbon dioxide with liberation of heat okay another example let's see that's in our body the glucose undergoes combustion to give carbon dioxide and water glucose c6 h12 o6 combines with oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water with the liberation of heat isn't it so this is an example of exothermic process or exothermic reaction next on moving to the endothermic reactions a chemical reaction is said to be endothermic if the reaction involves absorption of heat is known as endothermic reaction let's consider few examples now n2 nitrogen combines with oxygen to form nitric acid in this case heat is absorbed okay when nitrogen is combines with oxygen to form nitric oxide heat is absorbed in the reaction another example um, the reaction between the hot coke and steam h2o water this water in steam form that is heat with heat combines with hot coke to give out water gas in this can in this reaction heat is absorbed next example caco3 limestone the decomposition of limestone is an endothermic reaction on absorbing heat it gives out quick lime and carbon dioxide so these all are the examples for endothermic reactions i hope it is clear so we have covered almost important points from chemical reactions in the following classes we will take up physics and maths classes also keep preparing for the exams if you have learnt at least few things from this video give a like and don't forget to give a thumbs up so that we will come to know that at least you are learning from this video thank you for your support thank you for watching